welcome once more again wherever you're watching. Today we are making our own scones. It is important that each and every one of us learn how to make bread, especially in this time that you will see that most of the basic foods are going skyrocketing in terms of prices. So if you are able to afford a flour and then you can make your own bread. And it actually it will save you a lot of money because if you multiply those 13 bucks that you are buying your bread per day, and then you multiply it by four day or five days in a week and then by a month it is going to cost you a lot more than if you buy flowers and then you make yourself your own bread or your own scones so today we are going to make scones and for now we are just going to make a dough uh, and then we are going to allow it to rise for a little bit and then uh, on the stove we already have boiling water we are going to try and do it a different way than what many other people are used to so here we are going to make now our dough. Okay, so we are going to need um, some flowers. This is some flowers. This is one cup. Okay, two cups. Uh, we are going to make scone at least for three days because we don't have to eat the scones today until tomorrow after the yeast has died. Wait, three. Okay, four. Okay, and then we are going to add half a cup. So, four and a half a cup. Okay. Okay, so we have our flour. And we have um, our our dates. These are just four dates. I have removed the seeds inside, so they're just four. I don't want it too sweet. I, I don't like my bread too sweet, especially if I also want to um, use it or to eat it with the soup. So we are going to blend it. Of course, we are not going to need warm water. So we have warm water already. It shouldn't be too hot because it actually kills the yeast. So we are going to put our water here, and for now we are going to blend our dates. Okay, so we are just going to add just a bit of water to our dates. They have been soaked before, okay, so that they are soft when blending. Breaking nicely and make like a test. Okay? You can also try and move them with a the, with the spoon so that they break so nicely. You want it to be like paste. Then you add it to our flour. Okay, so we, we remove them again. Um, the bread is a substitute for sugar, so I don't normally use sugar, I don't actually take sugar, so we try not to take sugar. So we break them again. Okay, just a little bit, a little bit more, because I see some, they are not broken down yet. Okay. If you want your bread to be too sweet, you can add more, more of the dead. Sometimes I use bananas as well. Yeah, but I just don't want my bread too sweet. Okay, so we are also going to have our oil. Okay, so we have our flour. We're going to take our, our cup here. Okay, so first of all, we need to mix the yeast. Normally, I've, I've measured this. Normally, this is one tablespoon of this. So we can add all of it in here. Okay, so adding the yeast to the flour. Right. Okay. 
since we have doubled the recipe we need to add just a little bit of yeast because the normal recipe is two cups of flour but i've put four okay so this is um half a teaspoon so i'm adding half a teaspoon again of yeast okay that's enough then we also need salt okay if you have got the himalayan salt or if you've got you know the sea salt then you use it okay you can actually grind it the coarse sea salt okay so here this is a half a teaspoon okay and just a little bit you don't want it to be too salty okay all right so we are going to mix together the dry ingredients Now we need to add our water and our sweetener, but first of all we need to add our sweetener before we add our water. So you can see now it's blended, so we need just to pour it to the... <coughs> and mix before we add with water and oil of course I've washed my hands before that so you need to make sure that your hands are clean okay then we are going to add our water okay I don't use butter and milk because actually they spoil your bread they are also not so healthy when milk combined with sweetener or sugar, then it's going to be a problem. So we are also, sorry, I was supposed to use a tablespoon instead. Okay, so I'm going to use my tablespoon, okay, for the oil. That's one. That's two. So we are going to mix. Remember, I've only added one cup. One cup of water for now, then I mix and two tablespoons of oil. Okay, so we are going to turn now and use the cooking stick to mix. This is, uh, by the way, this is canola, so I normally use uh, canola. You can use any other vegetable oil which is healthy, apart from coconut, which is high in saturated fats. <coughs> okay, okay, so we see it's still a little bit dry, so we're going to add a little bit more of water and also just a bit of oil so that our bread won't be too dry. So this is the third tablespoon of oil and then we are going to add our water okay so we're gonna use this okay this is the second cup we don't put all of it in unless we need so i put almost a quarter of it okay Okay, so now we just need to add a little bit of the remaining of the of the water, then we do it with the hands. We mix it with the hands, then we allow it to rise in a warm place. Right now I'm going to put it outside. There's still a bit of sun for it to rise. Now each of these ingredients you cannot eat them separately. They don't taste nice. So if we were to give you flour to eat, uh, it wouldn't taste nice. If we were to give you cooking oil to eat, it wouldn't taste nice. So you need to 
add all the ingredients together for you to make a very nice bread or scones. So we are going to knead for a while until this flour is all mixed up. Okay. Okay. I don't think we need more water. I think the water is fine. We just need to knead a little bit more. Okay. <coughs> The water is fine, so we will not need any more water. Okay. All right. So we need until the flour is uh, all mixed up. There's no dry flour around. Okay. All right. So we continue to knit. Okay. So we test our the salt and the water and the, and the sweetener is fine just as we wanted it to be because we want it also to be able to use uh, the scones if we can eat it with soup whatever so it doesn't have to taste too sweet unless if you want yours to be too sweet but I prefer mine not to be too sweet okay so you can see now it's the flour is all mixed up Okay, then for now, we are going to put it in the sun to rise before we can continue.